Oh. It's you again. I told you. We can't be together. You've hurt me too many times. You're different now, you say? Well, you do... You do look different. I can't. I mustn't. I can't go back to you. Not after all the times that you've hurt me. You're right. You have changed. I can clearly see it. Let's give this thing another shot. Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. Today we are getting into kind of love and hate relationship with some of these things. We've got the built-in battle stadium, something that has been very inconsistent in my uh, Pokemon opening career. But we've got the build-in battle kits as well. We're going to compare the two to see which one's going to be better because, like, for the most part, the kits themselves have been much better for me. But the stadiums, I'm still, I don't know, I'm, I'm optimistic, but I've been hurt before. And this is the first time you're joining me, I am Pokemaniac Steven, and here we love Pokemon. So if you love Pokemon unboxings, tips and tricks, and Pokemon card openings, this is the place I won't let you down. So down here to the hand camera, we've got two regulars. We've got the Build and Battle Stadium, which comes with two inside, plus a bunch of other goodies. So we're going to take a look. You're going to see a little bit right there. We're going to crack open to this and find out what's inside this box. In this box you get a box, energy cards, dice and status indicators, four packs, and two build and battle kits that have four packs each. All right, we've got it all unpacked over here, these three stacks. This is gonna be our build and battle stadiums, and these over here, these on the left, these are the just the bad build and battle kits. So, gonna keep them separate. So we're gonna kick it off with the build and battle kit. Just a regular one. Let's see where this puts us, we're gonna get a a little bit like a baseline here, foundational luck, something like that. Is that English? I don't know. We'll find out. Here we go with our Turtwig, Piplup, Shroomish, Starly, Execute, Escavalier, and a Grimmsnarl to kick it off. It's cool. We're saving the hits for later. You know, you don't want to come in swinging too hot because then it sets the bar all high. People are the expectations, you know, like you gotta live up to them. We're slow burn. The hits are gonna be coming later, you know. Team yells cheer. Corfish, Sneasel, Duskull, Purloin, Shroomish, uh, Impidimp, and a Lapras, which is a beautiful card. I love the art with this Lapras. So far, those battle kits let me down. I don't know exactly. I don't know. I do know exactly. I'm hoping for some good hits here. Usually I'm getting like gold cards, rainbow cards, at least some like VMAX or something. Here we are not getting, well, we got a mana fee, I guess, so that's good. Can this last pack in this box help us out? These are normally intended for like tournaments and stuff. So you can like build and battle. That's where the name comes from. And uh, you know, I don't know what I would be able to build in battle with this. If I, I think I'd have to buy like 10 of these things. Clefairy and an Ice Q. Okay. Moving into the second box. Not a whole lot of... Not, not even a hollow, man. Sometimes it'd be like that. But I also feel like i am got a very unlucky streak running right now. With uh, a lot of the packs I have been opening. I don't know. I go through this every every now and then, every couple months. Go through a very unlucky streak, and then I'll just like crush it. So <clears throat> I'm hoping that's what's happening here. I don't know. Does that ever happen to you guys? We just have like a super unlucky streak. Oh, there we go. We got our V stars marker though. Uh, you get like a super unlucky streak, but then you just like are getting all the hits later. No, I don't know. I document every card opening so you can see the history. Hey, there we go. Mimic UV. We got something at least. We got the whole history of my at least more recent card opening career. I'll post it up on YouTube, so if you want to check those videos out, they're, they're there. I got playlists. I always link them up in the... Over there? There? I never remember. It's up there. The playlists. Pot Helmet. Carablast, Weasel, Halucha, Throw, Woo. Magmar with Magma Basin, and a Holographic Lucario. Okay, not bad. Last pack here. Hoping for something bigger. 
Mimic you cannot be the biggest card we get. That would be, uh, be not good. <laughs> uh, Charon's Care, Bear Tick, uh, Collapse Stadium, Spirit Tomb, Burmy, Impidimp, Staryu, Riolu, Boss's Orders, and Al Creamy. Oof. Well, this is turning into a little bit of a bust, but moving into this was actually the four packs that are inside the Build and Battle Stadium, so we're going to start with these on the other side. Man, these things. Love-hate relationship. I swear they used to be better. I promise you. I used to love these things. Now they're kind of turning into uh, a little bit of a like money sink because I'm holding on to better days in my mind. Clink and a Wormadam. Okay. Getting a lot of those things. It's uh, like Champion's Path all over again. We just kept pulling like the same like Scorch over and over again. Obstagoon over and over and over. But Dedene. Clink. Snowrunt. Nosepass. Axew. There we go. Mimikyu VMAX. That's fantastic. Oh, we got Ace Arola in there. That's a good looking card. And ooh, we got the double banger with the Arceus V. There we go. That's how we do it. That's what we've been waiting for. Now we just need a couple more of those and we're good. Two more packs. Well, let's see. Can we do it again? There you guys go. Maybe they moved the hits into the stadiums now. Because, like, a little bit harder to get. A little bit more in the box, you know. Maybe they're, they're playing games. They're trying to change the marketing around these things. I don't know. Executor and a Holographic Infernape. Pretty cool art there. And into this final pack for the extras in the stadium. I don't think we're going to keep that name in convention. I think we're just going to move on. Uh, Magma Basin, Hitmontop, Ultra Ball, Grimer. They need to make more Pokeball, like, cool cards. You know what I mean? Like, not just like a gold or a rainbow. Uh, and Flygon. They need to do, like, a whole Pokeball card. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think it's time we talk about our comment of the video. This one was a really hard decision. I had to narrow it down to just, like, a couple people for this specific video, but... I'm going with my dude, Ben F Productions. He commented on uh, one of my more recent news videos talking about Pokemon fossils, and he says, this reminds me of one of the games where at the end of the tunnel, you beat that person and you each take a fossil and you head to Cinnabar Island to resurrect the Pokemon. And I 100% remember that. Like, those were, those were fantastic times as a kid. And so shout out to Ben for bringing back that memory. Just remember running around with my red Game Boy Pocket, and if you're interested, Ben also has a YouTube channel, so down in the description, I'll have a link over to him, go check him out, Ben's a good guy. Now, let's finish off these packs, this uh, little battle stadium, so, hit, whoa, that's upside down, there you go, oh, V-Star Marker, love these cards, got a ton of them, still love them, uh, here we go. What are you doing with your uh, v, v star markers? What are you doing with them? Framing them? Putting them in your wallet? Leave them around? Turning into something cool? Raichu V. There we go. A little something something. I want to turn. I don't know. I just want to do something with the V star markers. I think that'd be cool. But, ah, these are upside down now. And another V star marker right here. Like, how do we turn this into something cool? I mean, they're already cool, but cooler. Dusclops, whoa, Bear Tick, Burmy, Impidimp, Staryu, Riolu. Oh, I'm grabbing doubles all the time here. Starly, Hitmontop, and a Torterra holographic. All right, looking. Where's that? Was everybody doing the James Franco like look down thing in these cards? Weird. All right, getting into this pack. Boom. I feel like Pokemon's been a little bit slow lately. Maybe I'm gonna regret saying that. I feel like by the time this airs. But they've been taking it easy. You know? The cards, they're still running on a schedule. I feel like Pokemon's been taking it a little bit easy. Maybe uh, it's just this lull before all of the Violet and Scarlet stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like there's been a lack of merchandise. There's been... I don't know. Usually we, we get a lot more. Maybe we got spoiled with the Q4 last year. I don't know. I'm just used to, like having dozens of items dropping every week, you know, with like all these different collections of items. 
<laughs> but Bidoof, Dedene, and a Holographic Infernape. All right. So last four packs here. If you guys need any card supplies, down in the description you will find links. They are Amazon links, so so you can use your Prime membership. Only issue is that uh, some things are on back order. <laughs> I ordered uh, a bunch of sleeves, and they're not gonna be here for like another five days. So whoever's selling them is a little bit backed up. So professors research, but everything else should be uh, right on time. But the sleeves, man, these are hot right now. Everyone's trying to get their brilliant stars pulls into uh, into some protection. Weavile, Friends of Galar, Milsery, Purloin, Spirit Tomb, Starly, Riolu, Grimmsnarl, and a Motham. All right. Ooh, that was a clean rip. That was a clean rip. There you go. Last two packs. I'm hoping we can pull this out. Floatzel, Staravia, Lectabuzz, Bidoof, Clefairy, wow, uh, Grimer, Execute, I pulled like three cards right there, and a Breloom. Final pack for this opening, I don't know, I'm probably not going to be investing too much deeper into like the build and battle kits, I got all four promos, once I hit that mark, I'm usually pretty satisfied, if the hits are going to be like this, it's, I don't know. It's not like the old days, but that's okay. Clefairy, if you like these Pokemon openings, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And a Luminion V. Pretty cool looking card, though, at least. I don't know. But we're going to get uh, these organized, and we're going to do our PokeRap recap. All right, here we go with our reverse holographics. We've got Alcremie, Nosepass, Grimmsnarl, Team Yells, Cheer, Dedene, Lipard, Hitmontop, Execute, Axew, Executor, Clink, Boss's Orders, Code Card, uh, Magma Basin, Wormadam, Burmy, Clefairy, Snow Runt, Impidimp, Escavalier. That was sloppy. I I apologize. And with the hollows or higher, we did uh, remove one duplicate of the Infernape. So we got our Professor's Research there. There's that Infernape. And our Torterra looking down upon us. Lucario looking super sweet with that Aura Sphere. That's way good. Then we are getting into our V cards with Luminion, Mimikyu, great card, Raichu looking fierce right there. And we've, uh oh. And we've got our Arceus V, which is fantastic. Look, who, who doesn't like Arceus? And this is this is what I'm most happy about. I love the art style on this Mimikyu V Max. Like, that looks fantastic. Love the coloring. That's a good one. That's a good win right there. So. Thank you guys so much. Let me know your thoughts on the build and battle kits, the stadiums, all of it. Have they been similar for you? Have they been better? Uh, like I said, living in the past, these things usually are way better. But still, fantastic deal for everything you get. It's like a little mini ETB. Thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate it. Reminder to check the description for Ben's YouTube channel along with links for card protection. Take care of each other out there, and I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.